Your computer will not give you cancer. Stick around and I will tell you why. Your computer does emit radiation. However, it is not dangerous. Let me break it down in this video. To keep the video short, I will just focus on the question if you can get cancer from a computer. Computers can cause harm in different ways. You can get an eye strain from the monitor. You can get carpal tunnel from repetitive typing and you can probably get other physical ailments as well. Computers however cannot give you cancer. In this video, I will describe various ways a computer does emit radiation. However, it does not give you cancer. There are various types of radiation that you can get from your computer. The first type coming out of the computer screen is visible light. That's a 400 to 800 terahertz signal. Ordinary light is a form of radiation. It can be harmful to your eyes, causing eye strain. But in this context, visible light is harmless. The harmful wavelength is ultraviolet. Computer screens do not emit ultraviolet light. Wavelengths that are wider than ultraviolet is safe. Visible light is wider than ultraviolet. Next is the heat emitted by the computer. Thermal radiation in the range of 10 to 100 terahertz is just heat. The heat of a computer is contained within the casing and is discharged via fans. If you place the computer on your lap, you might get a slight burn from the heat coming out of the vents. This is harmless unless you actually burn your skin. This heat will not give you cancer. Then we have the wireless transmitters. These are the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Bluetooth and Wi-Fi transmitters. I did a previous video in which I detail out that Wi-Fi is safe. I won't cover it in this video, but do watch my previous video for more details. The 2.4 and 5 GHz wavelength is too wide to cause harm. You won't get cancer from these transmitters. After that is low frequency electromagnetic radiation. These are the radio waves that leak out from the electronic circuitry. This type of radiation is non-ionizing. Ionizing radiation is the kind of radiation that can cause harm because it has the energy required to break molecular bonds. Low frequency electromagnetic radiation doesn't have enough energy to be ionizing. This means it has no ability to damage cells and thus it is harmless. Finally, we have the decay of the computer itself which includes gamma rays. The computer will take hundreds or thousands of years to decay. The total amount of gamma radiation is so little, there is no cause for concern. Those are the types of radiation that is emitted from a computer. The materials used in the components of a computer can indeed cause cancer if it enters the body. The materials used in electronics is carcinogenic. The electrolyte used in capacitors is harmful if it enters the body. If you do come into contact with such material, please wash it off immediately. Dust and other small particles within the computer can also cause harm if you breathe it in. Again, exercise caution and definitely try not to breathe in small particulates. When your computer is at the end of its life, 
do not dispose of it in a dustbin. Instead, send the computer parts to an electronics recycler or e-waste collector. The precious raw materials can be collected and the toxic parts can be safely disposed. There are quite a few types of radiation that is emitted from the computer. However, there is no actual danger that it causes cancer. The only carcinogenic materials are the materials used to make the components of the computer. These parts can be safely ignored and do not pose a health risk. If you're still concerned though, please see a doctor. Getting a proper diagnosis from a doctor is much better than self-diagnosis. Well, that's all I have in this video. I've put some extra information in the description below. Please check it out if you would like more information. As always, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice, signing out.